Lightning in Tonga's volcanic eruption destroys all records. When the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano erupted in January 2022, it sent shockwaves around the world. Not only did it trigger an expanding tsunami wave, but it also sent a huge amount of climate warming water vapor into the Earth's stratosphere. Now researchers in a new report have uncovered something else. The eruption triggered more than 25,500 lightning events in just five minutes. In just six hours, the volcano triggered nearly 400,000 lightning events. Half of all lightning in the world is concentrated around this volcano at the peak of the eruption. The catastrophic eruption shattered all records, according to a report from Vesala, an environmental monitoring company that tracks lightning around the world. This was the most extreme concentration of lightning we've ever detected, said Chris Vygotsky, a meteorologist and lightning expert at Vesala, told CNN. We've been detecting lightning for 40 years, and this is truly an extreme event. An annual report by Vesala found that 2022 was an extreme year for lightning. Lightning increased in the U.S. in 2022, with more than 198 million lightning strikes, 4 million more than observed in 2021, and 28 million more than in 2020. We are continuing our trend of increasing lightning, said Vygotsky. The Worldwide Lightning Location Network, another lightning monitoring network led by the University of Washington, which was not involved in the report, said Vesala's findings about global lightning as well as the Hunga volcano were consistent with their own observations. We can do this because stronger eruptions produce lightning, and the lightning sends a detectable radio signal around the world, Robert Holsworth, the network's director, told CNN. The Hunga eruption was truly impressive in its lightning activity. Researchers have used lightning as a leading indicator of the climate crisis, because the phenomenon usually signals warming temperatures. Lightning occurs in energetic storms associated with an unstable atmosphere, requiring relatively warm and humid air, which is why lightning occurs mainly in tropical latitudes and elsewhere during the summer months. But in 2022, the Vesala National Lightning Detection Network found more than 1,100 lightning strikes in Buffalo, New York, during a devastating lake-induced blizzard that dumped more than 30 inches of snow on the city but piled up a historical total of more than six feet. Surrounding suburbs along Lake Erie. Lake effect snow occurs when cold air blows over warm lake water, in this case from the Great Lakes. Large temperature differences can cause extreme instability in the atmosphere and cause hurricane-like lightning even in a blizzard. The report noted that many of these lightning events occurred near wind turbines south of Buffalo, which Vygotsky said was significant. He explained that the cloud filled with ice crystals was lower to the ground than normal, eroding just above the turbine blades. That can cause what is known as a self-initiated upward lightning bolt, Vygotsky said. So lightning happens because you've got charging at the tip of these wind turbine blades that's very close to the bottom of the cloud, and it's very easy to get a charge connection. Wind and renewables, lightning will play a part in that, he said.